NHS is massively, urgently and actively recruiting overseas applicants. As a matter of fact, the NHS is your golden ticket if you still want to move into the UK with your family. The NHS allows you to come into the UK with your dependent, being your children, your spouse, your partner, put simply. In today's video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about the NHS in all regions of the UK. That is, I'm going to be showing you how to apply to these jobs in the NHS in both Scotland, Northern Ireland, England and in Wales. So if you are looking to move to the UK and you really want to move to a particular region under the NHS, then this video is for you. I'm going to be showing you what kind of job you can see in the NHS currently that still allows you to move with your family. I'm going to be touching on both the clinical job roles and the non-clinical job roles. So let's get started. Do not forget to give this video a very big fat like. Subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed. What are you waiting for? And as you do, may God bless you. Now remember, I talk about clinical and non-clinical job roles in the NHS. This means in regards of the occupation that you are in, be it a professional healthcare worker or non-professional healthcare worker, you still stand an opportunity of getting a job in the NHS in some occupations. Now, let's start with the clinical. The clinical means that you must be a professional healthcare worker. Going to the non-clinical job, Non-clinical jobs are referred to allied health professions. These are jobs in the NHS or care sector that permit overseas applicants or residents here in the UK who is looking to work in the care setting now being NHS but are not qualified at all in terms of the care field. Neither do they have any professional degree, a qualifying university certificate to show that they are a care professional. The non-clinical job role then is for you. This non-clinical job roles comprises of various and different jobs and I'm going to be showing you all of that today, all of the jobs that are in the non-clinical job role where you can go and apply and also come in with your family. The first thing you need to do for you to know the non-clinical jobs in the NHS which permits you or gives you the opportunity to still move into the UK as a non-care worker but working in the care setting. You need to go to your Google Chrome and type in non-clinical jobs in the NHS. Once you type that out, then it brings us the variety of jobs currently in the NHS where you can call in to work in the non-clinical feed, such as reception, medical secretary, audio typist, ward clerk, co-coordinator, administrator, HRO, porters, cleaners, catering, maintainers, security, drivers, domestic, IT, finance, project managers, management, and the list goes on. So seeing all of this job role and you feel like, okay, I can come in to work in this feed or that feed, then all you need to do is go to the NHS portal to check if there is current recruitment with certificate of sponsorship underneath any of this role that catches your interest. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to go to our Google Chrome again, and we're going to type NHS job search. Okay. When you type in NHS job search, then you click on the first one Google brings up for you. Then you click on search. Now, remember as a non-clinical worker, you need to put these occupations in mind before you start searching for jobs using the NHS website. Guys, let me tell you something. NHS is indeed hiring with certificate of sponsorship. This is not a joke. This is not a scam. This is not to sweet talk you, but NHS is really hiring. And this reason is because the private organization now are kind of having some delays in terms of COS being issued to them by the home office. But with the NHS being an organization which is opened by the government, they tend to have the COS more easier, more faster because the NHS is a verified organization. So if you're looking to move to the UK, then please ensure you do your job search in the NHS. Remember at the beginning of this video, I said NHS has different job search, different websites in terms of the UK region. That is, if you're looking to move to Scotland, you must look to apply for jobs in the NHS within Scotland. If you're looking to move to Northern Ireland, then you must ensure you apply for jobs in the NHS within Northern Ireland. For Northern Ireland, it is referred to as HSE. If you're looking to move to England, then you must apply to jobs in England in the NHS within its region. So now we're gonna start with England. England, all you need to do is type in NHS job search. 
and as you can see it's already states applying from overseas meaning there are jobs available where you can apply to from overseas now let's use one particular job occupation in mind let's say we use the maternity support worker in mind now and we click on search maternity support worker maternity support worker is a particular job role when you come into the uk to work in the nhs assisting the midwives and the rest there are so many job roles here not just limited to maternity support worker or any of the one i've talked about but please bear this list in mind it is very important you can get a job as a work clerk you can get a job as an administrator hru in the nhs with visa sponsorship but for the sake of the demonstration of this video I'm going to be using maternity support worker and as you can see there's over 14,658 jobs currently in this job occupation however because there's this amount of job currently doesn't mean all of those jobs come with sponsorship now you need to do your own work here you need to do your own due diligence here and now you can do this is ensure you are scrolling thoroughly and looking for the one first of all that comes with a band three row okay another one that says additional information underneath the additional information you will see where it says certificate of sponsorship then you know that jobs calls with certificate of sponsorship all you need to do is click on apply now we're going to scroll okay we're going to click and see if any of those jobs comes with certificate of sponsorship and if it's a brand tree role now as you can see this is a brand tree role now you're not just going to get a second year you're going to ensure that they state certificate of sponsorship before you apply all you need to do is scroll down okay as you can see it says certificate of sponsorship you can still use this demonstration for the other jobs in terms of you looking for that one that still allows you to come with your family it has to be a bantry role and it has to say certificate of sponsorship just as display now going to nhs scotland all you need to do really is to click and type on your google chrome nhs scotland as you can see immediately you are saying the nhs scotland you still need to follow the same principle as the first one i show you that is going to each of this job vacancy as you feel like okay you are very good in this job you have experiences qualification certification in this job go there come to the job keyword or job title fill in the kind of job that you want let's just find instant now what click as we saw on the non-clinical job list list what click now or let's write what click with certificate of sponsorship and click on apply feature when you click on apply feature you can see it brings out the jobs available in this position as a word click now let's say you want to move to the uk but you want to move to northern ireland precisely all you need to do really is go to your google chrome again and type in hscni because for northern ireland they use the word hse instead of nhs but they are all the same but different terminology different words but all the same when you click on that you just need to click on where it says search for it and care job then you can see it's still the same process in terms of looking for this job and sure you're looking out for the one that says band three you're looking out for the one that says certificate of sponsorship i hope this video helps you i hope this video is quite informative if you have any questions regarding what has just been shown here leave it in the comment section i would be willing as usual to go through this question and give my answers using the research i've made thus far guys nhs jobs is not so difficult to get you just need to be willing to be able to put in a lot of research dedication commitment in terms of applying to those jobs if you have any further query just drop it in the comment section and don't forget what wins you in your nhs is a very good supporting statement so ensure you have that one ready before you ever start any application please do not forget to like this video if you get any value any benefit from this also please subscribe if you still haven't subscribed and as you do may god bless you see you in my next one bye